Hey guys, it's Dr. Kimberly and DC and H and um, I'm going to come to you today and talk to you about a, just a kind of a social media triggered subject that has been irritating me. Um, I wanted to say that, um, do I believe in mediumship? Absolutely. Do I believe there's very many good mediums? Absolutely not. Why? I'm not going to get into the whole topic of mediumship, but I definitely want to talk about animal mediums today. There's a lot on TikTok. I think they take advantage, uh, as any medium does, of this time of the season. Um, they take advantage of your grief, you know, sudden loss of a pet or, you know, a pet that you've had a long time. Um, definitely take advantage of that grief. Do they provide a service? Maybe. Um, not really going to look into that. I want to talk to you about um, why I have a problem with the animal mediums that I've seen on Instagram and social media, including some of the big, big ones, including a guy in England who I actually had a reading with out of curiosity to see how accurate he would be. And he was horrible. Was he real? Did he have real psychic abilities? Yes. And he's even teaching mediumship, which is a travesty because a lot of these people are in the junk consciousness, false spirituality uh, movement. Just because you have a spiritual gift that's semi-active does not mean you understand the nature of this reality. You have to understand the nature of rea this reality to use your gifts effectively and to share those gifts in charge with other people. And you have to understand how this reality fits into all time and space. And I'll tell you why, specifically regarding animal mediumship. So there's this one woman named Nancy on Instagram and social media. And she says, you know, she's booked out a year or two, except for emergency appointments, which you pay a lot for. And that's fine. But she says that she can communicate and with any animal that you've had that dies and that that animal will come to her. She can connect to them. Well, I can also connect with, I'm not advertising myself by the way, but I can also connect with any animal. And first of all, animals aren't animals. So we need to understand that animal, these two animal mediums that I'm talking about, um, one is a, <laughs> but uh, one of the problems I have is they don't understand the very basic nature of this reality, which I'm going to explain to you right now. The avatar, this body. I don't know, you can't see my dogs. Those are those blobs laying behind me. Their bodies, my body is a bottle. You should look at it as a bottle. Some bottles are full, some bottles are empty. If you are in a human avatar, that is empty or an animal avatar that is empty and you pass, we call that one and done, or we call that a walkout or a lot of other things, but there's nothing to connect to it. Now, if it's a walkout, yes, you can connect with a being who used to be in that body for part of the time that you had that pet, but I know I'm muddying the waters. Basically, I have a dog. His name is Moose. We adopted him when he was a puppy from the pound. Beautiful dog, amazing dog, sweet dog. These are sentient living beings that have emotions and brain function and ability to love and ability to bond. Does that mean Moose is living forever? Moose isn't. There is no soul, no walk-in soul, no eternal fire creation spirit in Moose. There's not. So if he passes, and he will at some point, and I go to an animal communicator, I would expect the animal communicator to say, I'm sorry, I can't take your money. I can't take your business. She doesn't have to tell me and hurt my feelings or offend my sensibilities if I don't understand how this reality works, but she needs to be ethical. So if I go to Nancy, because if I go to Nancy, Nancy's going to bring in Moose and blather about what Moose is doing or what Moose is saying or what Moose's message is, and it's going to be a lie because there is no Moose. There's a Moose now that I have a relationship with, but when he passes, there is no Moose. I'm sorry, it's the way it is. Some of your animals have negative collectives in them. Why are you trying to get a hold of negative collectives? I can introduce you to a ton of negative collectives if you want to talk to demonic entities or negative collectives or dark ETs. Some of your animals have mixed. Some of your animals are benevolent. They're the highest consciousness beings um, that temporarily took a container to have a relationship with you, which is amazing and wonderful. And they didn't want to be here forever. And I don't blame them. And this is also true about people. So first of all, if you don't have a medium that is saying, I'm sorry, I can't read for you. Here's another lie about mediumship. That animal is going to come through. It's not. That animal, which is not an animal, it's a conscious being, 
may be doing something else somewhere else. It may not care how you're feeling. It may not want to come talk to you. And that is the plain truth. So also, if a medium is not offering to refund your money because that dean isn't available or doesn't want to talk, they're also probably a fraud. Number three, um, they can bring in animals. I had a worse, worse. It was one of the worst readings of my life. Did he get a few things right? Yes. Why do I need to pay someone to know what I already know? Why do I need to pay someone to tell me what animals I've had? But he had a whole room full of animals for me. And he said, wow, there's like 50 animals here. Well, I hate to tell you, in this incarnation, in this point of view, I haven't had 50 animals. And come to find out what he was doing was he was pulling all the animals from all aspects of me that were easily accessible to him. And he's too young and he doesn't have wisdom and he doesn't understand how this reality works and he doesn't have discernment. And he was talking about this horse with a white blaze on its forehead that I had when I was young. I did not have own a horse in this reality when I was young. However, you know what I did do when I was young? Remember, everything you believe in this reality is real. Everything you can create, everything you can imagine, everything you can speak into existence. What I did have as an animal when I was young, or what I did do, sorry, not have, um, was I read Black Beauty like 7,000 times, no lie. So much so that Black Beauty was real in my reality, so much, please, come on, dude, get a grip. Um, he also talked about a lot of other animals um, that were in, that are part of my life in other realities, not in this reality, uh, in other game realms, in other planets, in other ships, in other aspects of where I am, even the past, um, but not in this reality. So it's not useful if a tabby cat from the 18th century came in. I mean, unless she had something fabulous to say. And why are these beings, if this is a real reader, maybe the bean is saying, um, coming as a cat or coming as a horse or dog or snake or whatever, so that the person recognizes them. But often I think beans are jumping in to get false messages. So another problem I have with mediumship is, which is why I do not advertise or charge or practice actively as a medium. Although if you watch my radio shows very often, my medium skills will come in full barrel um, and I won't be able to resist them. And that's what I think happens. I think I like natural mediumship better than paid or forced mediumship. Um, but you can talk to your loved pets yourself. You, they don't care about or waiting two months or waiting two years to talk to them. Talk to them now. You can learn to establish a relationship with any being in any reality, any time, any space created, already existed or otherwise, you can do this stuff. You need to stop paying people. You need to stop empowering yourself, realizing that if you have a fire creation soul, you are a limitless eternal being and you can do this yourself. Do we go to people that are more skilled? Yes. These people are no skilled. These people don't even understand life after death. These people are saying your animals are there waiting to greet you on the other side. They're not. They're not. Lies. Lies, lies, lies to make you feel good, um, you know, in, in their belief system. Um, but that's not how the reality works. Half of you are going to need to come back and incarnate back into the game and you'll get to have all new animals. Lucky you. I'm not coming back, by the way. So if I annoy you, you want to put up with me much longer. So anyway, those are my, I could, I realize as I start talking about this, I have so many thoughts on mediumship and it's such a scam and usually being used just like QHHT, which I'll make another video about later, maybe in the week. But just like QHHT is so used um, is mediumship a valid gift and ability? Absolutely. Is it being so hijacked and so accessed by the military, by secret space, by negative ETs, by prankster energies, uh, by your timeline enemies? Absolutely. Um, is it worth rolling the roulette wheel, paying a bunch of money and waiting a bunch of time, um, you know, to talk to a medium when your pets may or may not come through and they may or may not have, you know, something to say to you? Does life go on? Yes, all eternal beings. You don't have to pay a medium. I'll tell you for free right now. Life absolutely goes on. Fire creation beings, whether they're in a plant, whether they're in an animal, whether it's in your body, life goes on. Animals are people. Animals are not to be abused. Animals are not to be thrown away. Animals are not to be discarded, um, whether they're empty or not. So anyway, um, that's my rant of the day. I hope you enjoy it. Please feel free to drop any questions. I'll try to check the comments and answer. All my comments are um, siphon checked and approved. So um, 
I don't mind people that respectfully disagree with me or have something to contribute to the conversation, but I do not tolerate disrespect in my um, comments. Also, I have a monthly group, Ultimate Evolution. It's my community. Uh, I teach woo-woo principles. I teach things like this. I do processes and activations, first dibs on live events, um, all sorts of, a little bit of access to me. If you're interested, I'll put the link down below. Um, like and subscribe. It gives me time to do this stuff. Thanks so much.